In this video, I'm going to show you how to backstitch around um, an object, I guess, and through it. So let's look at our pattern. Just a reminder, when you do backstitching, use a longer piece of thread because the backstitching takes up a lot of thread. So here we have our pattern. I have finished the cross stitches and I want to follow this black line around my teapot and then this line is going through the teapot itself. You can start wherever you want. I am going to start over here and when it comes to back stitches I like to make my stitches between two and three blocks or squares long so on this pattern I can see I have one, two, three, four squares. So I'll do two and two. So let's start. So I have my design here. I'm going to go up at the sprout, sprout, spout, sorry about that, spout. So we're going to count to one, two, Go in, and then I'm going to come up. here so now let's go back to our pattern so we are over here and as we can see this line kind of skips through the corner of that stitch so it's going to go from here down to here so this is one two and one two three down That's how I count them. So we're going to count one, two, one, two, three down. And that's where we are. We're going to do that. Now we're up to here. The next one goes in here. So it's one over and two down. So you're going to count that from the back. So one, one, two and come up go in ready for the next one here we have it's going to be one across and one two three down. So we're going to end there. So one across. One, two, three, down. Next up, we only have one stitch, one square. Come up from behind. One. This one is going to go here. So we're going to go one, two, and one. I'm going to have to do this one from the back. So one, two, and one. And back up. Then here we can do, we can go through one and two. You can do this as one long stitch or you can do two shorter stitches. I'm going to do one long stitch so it's going to be across 
and across. Next one we have this line, so it's one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to break this up. I'm going to do a two and a three. So we're going to go up one, two. One, two, three. Now I want to do this one now and then I'm going to go back and do the outline. So let's count the amount of blocks. We have one, two, three, four, six, seven, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So that works perfectly. We can just do two at a time. So let's count from the back, one, two, and then go in, go up, I'm just going to go over the stitches, one, two, Oh, it's looking good. All right. Now I'm going to go from here and I'm going to do one, two, three. And we have one, one, two, three. We have another three, so. Make sure you pull it taut, especially when you do the longer stitches. Come back up. And then here I can just see it's, I'm going to just follow this shape. 